Well, good morning. We have to maneuver around here because we got garbage truck, garbage buckets everywhere. Today is garbage day. We got our compost out. We got our compost of the lawn clippings. We got our garbage. We got our toilet. Old toilet. Anyway, we got birthdays today. Today is Deb to be Deb's birthday. We need a haircut. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Deb. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. It's also Mimi's birthday, so Mimi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mimi. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. We had to complete the turn. But it's also Mr. Jerry's birthday over, he is uh, Terry, over at Terry W. Getting Back to Healthy's channel. It's Mr. Jerry's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jerry. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope all three of you have a great birthday. We are on our way to the thyroid doctor. I know he's got a real, I know he's got a real name for past his name, but never know what it is. There's my keys here. They're kind of rattling. I got all my little store credit card keys. And I got everybody's house keys. So, I'm put those away. Um, I have a thing where we can look at my Beaumont chart. He's part of the Beaumont system. And I was looking at my numbers. And I don't think I'm going to get a good report today. Um, my vitamin D is up, which is good. Of course, it was summer, so of course, some of my vitamin. I was outside every single day. So my vitamin D went up. Calcium went down a little bit, and my parathyroid really jumped. It's supposed to be between I think 75 and under. And the last time I went, it was 74. And this last blood work, it was 109. That's that's not good. That's not good. So I don't know. He said that the only thing for it is surgery. I don't really want surgery, but I don't know. And he says it's not really affecting my weight. And a lot of times people say, oh, because it's your thyroid. He says it's the parathyroid, which is different than the thyroid. The parathyroid is a little butterfly thing in your throat. But, so he said that really wouldn't have any difference. But Sparkling Susan has the same thing, but her doctor gives her medicine. So maybe her other things are off, I don't know. But I really was kind of like, mm, there's no, but then we had a bit of confidence in this doctor. And when I went to my new doctor, my old doctor was in the Ascension system, but she's too far away. And I, I told you I didn't like her staff because they were rude and they were, they were obnoxious. I just didn't like them. Loved the doctor. Highly, 100% recommend the doctor. Do not recommend her staff. And I would complain to her all the time, but, you know, it doesn't matter. I just, she was too far away anyhow. She was a half hour away, but, you know, like, I'd like to be, like, a little bit closer in my comfort zone. My new doctor is two minutes away. So, I like that. I like the fact that that's so much closer. So, sorry, kind of a abrupt start. But anyway, um, so I was telling my new doctor, you know, I was, that's not, I forgot to put on my chart about my thyroid. You know, and I, I seen a doctor, but I really don't have much confidence in that. And she says, well, I could recommend someone if you want to get a second opinion. And I said, okay, what would you, what would you recommend? And then she says, I would recommend Dr. Moody. Who's who I'm seeing? <laughs> it's Dr. Moody. And I said, well, that's who I'm seeing. And she says, really? And you don't like him? She says, I would I recommend him to all my patients. So I'm thinking, well, he must be okay because it's two different systems, you know, like in two different hospitals. Doctors that probably don't know each other. So I kind of restored a little bit of confidence in them. So, so that's what we're going to see now is Dr. Moody. And then after that, um, I told you last night that Christy's dryer belt broke. So she brought her laundry over, and then her last load was just her sheets and blankets. So I said, well, I'll just fi finish them up and then I'll just drop them off because she's five minutes away from my doctor's office. So, she says, that sounds good. So that's, that's what we're going to do after 
that. Um, we had torrential downpours last night. It was like like it was when we flooded before. It was really really coming down. And um, still not open. I don't know. I think they're going to get ready to open. Well, now that the ramp to get out of this first one, it is. It is open. What do you know? I wonder how they're going to long and keep this other. I know you're. I'm babbling now. That's the entrance to get out of the expressway, but they have made a temporary act entrance over here. So I wonder how long before they close this temporary entrance and move it all back around. But anyway, so um, I'm going to be bringing her her laundry. And then David, come, David and Jimmy come by and they did the tag. And the only thing that we had left down in the basement that had to go to the trash was the toilet. And uh, so I told Jimmy, I said, you know, your dad would like you to carry the toilet out to the curb. He says, I can't pick up that toilet. I can carry it up. You want me to get a hernia? He says, I can't do that. And I said, well, well, how about if I call David and the two of you can carry it up because I can't help you. And he says, no, you wouldn't be able to pick up any help. So I said, well, I know that. So I called David. Of course, David come over. He, he, you know, he'd come over in a moment's notice. And he's such a good grandson. He's such a good kid. I mean, or a man. He's 22. Well, I always think he was a kid, though. But anyway, he come over and so then Jimmy was getting situated, and David says, what are you doing? And he says, well, I'm going to help you carry it. And David says, you don't need to help me carry it. And he picked it up, put it on his shoulder, and carried it, by, carried it up the stairs <laughs> on his shoulder. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <clears throat> I said, David, you're going to hurt yourself. He said, this is fine. Well, then Jimmy had a weight set down the basement that was actually Jim's. At one point, Jim actually used the weights. And Jimmy took the whole contraption, you know, machine, you know, like the bars and all that to put it together, but he never took the weights. And they were in a bowling bag. And, uh, um, so Jimmy says, I can't carry this either. And so he went to pick it up and have David hold the one handle and he was going to hold the other handle. And David says, get out of the way. <laughs> Picked it up, put it over his shoulder and carried the weights up. So I got home. When they put it in the truck, I said to Jimmy, I said, well, is David going to follow you to your house so you can carry it in? And he went, ha, ha, ha. I says, well, how are you going to get into the house? He said, like Johnny Cash did, one piece at a time. <laughs> but I says, oh, to be young. He said, yeah, I know. He says, now I feel like a real old man. He says, you're only 50. It's going to be 51 this year, though. And he says, yeah, but it's an old 50. And I says, oh, you are not old. But so then we did the tag. It should be up by now, obviously. And we had fun with that. So I wanted to thank Valerie Reese again because she came up with the questions. And I still have to do my um, collab. I got to come up with a quick and easy meal for Sunday. Re Recipes with Roy has another collab that's going to go up Sunday morning at nine o'clock. I'm not going to give a date, Mr. Jerry, because you know I always screw up on the dates. But I know it's on Sunday, so I got to figure out what I'm going to make for that. I think I made my stir-fried chicken last night, last time, which is. That is my go-to meal, so this is stir-fried chicken. It's just like really quick, quick and easy. It's just, so I gotta come up with something else. It's a little different. You know, I could show you how to make my salad, but I mean, everybody knows how to make a salad. It's like, big deal, you made a salad. But I pretty much, am, I eat pretty much the same things all the time. Just thinking of Edie right now because the train usually comes by around this time, and I didn't want to get stuck behind the train. There's a guy walking down the railroad tracks. On the tracks. I never understand, too, when we're driving anywhere, and like the light, you get, the light turns red, you know, or the traffic stops for whatever reason, and people stop on the railroad tracks. I'm thinking,
can see from the picture, I've made a decision that's going to change my 74th year of life. I rejoined the meetings at Weight Watchers. Um, I pretty joined last week on Thursday. On my birthday, Bertie actually joined. She got a really good deal. She got 10 months for $19 a month. So she said, I said, you know what? I, I should think about that. I really should consider that. So then on Friday, I thought, I'm going to join. I'm going to join. So I called. I went online, did all of the stuff, and there was no deals left. So I called talk to a Weight Watcher person, and she says, oh, they have flash sales every single day, and, uh, because I pay $15.95 a month right now just to do the core, which is just, you know, online, digital, and all that, so I pay basically $16, and so I thought for $3, I'm worth $3 a month to go to a meeting, less than a dollar a week, so I thought, no, I'm going to do this, so... Like I said, they didn't have any deals going on, and the only deal they had on Friday was, um, okay, I let three people out, and not one of them thanked me. <laughs> How hard is it just to raise your hand and go like that? <laughs> any um, But I thought, well, I'm worth $3. So then I called on Friday, and the deal then was three months for $10 a month, and I thought, oh, this is pretty good. But then for the next three months, it's $45 a month. And I thought, no, the reason I didn't go to the meetings is because I was paying almost $60 before. I think I was paying $58.95. And I thought, there's no way. I'm not doing it. And so then I checked on Sunday, and it was the same deal. And I thought, no, no, I'm not going to do that. So then this morning when I got up, because I knew that there was this meeting that was on the way to my doctor's office, which is the meeting place that Bertie goes to on Thursdays. Um, and it was my old leader, and I thought, well, I wonder if there's a deal going on. So I looked at it, and for the first month, it's eleven dollars, so I'm saving five bucks. But then for the next ten months, it's twenty-one dollars. So I'm thinking, I don't know, Bertie got a better deal at nineteen, and I thought, are you going to quibble over two dollars? Think of that's a star. That's not even a Starbucks drink. A star, but my Starbucks drink is almost five bucks. So I'm thinking, I'm worth. A Starbucks drink because that's basically how much more I pay in for my membership from 16 to 21 is five bucks and I really think my Starbucks drink because I have a gift card I always ask for gift cards because I'll never go and spend five dollars for a drink I just won't I'm too cheap you give me a gift card that I didn't have to buy ching, I'm gonna use it so uh, I thought no you are worth a Starbucks drink every month so I joined and it was such a welcoming meeting, although I'm only going to go to this meeting on Tuesdays once a month because, like I said, Denise and I joined the uh, book club at the library. Um, I'm bringing my book to read in the doctor's waiting room. I still have 112 pages to go. i am going to get that done by Thursday. So if the next book that they pick is just as, I'm sorry, crappy as this book, then um, I, I don't think I'm going to uh, stay at the book club. Although I really am looking forward to it because I really do like it and together with groups and things like that. But So anyway, the point being, on Thursdays I'm going to go with Birdie to the meetings and then because she works and Thursdays is her day off. And then on the days that the once a month that it's at the book club is on at the library, I'll go on Tuesdays by myself. But... I am going to try to talk Jim into going. Maybe he'll go because his sister's going. Because him and his sister get along really well. Him and Bertie get along really, really well. Him and his other sister, not so much. His brother who's passed, definitely not. So, but him and Bertie have a really good relationship. So maybe I can talk him into it. Especially since tomorrow, I'm going to wait till he does his stress test tomorrow. Because I think even with the medication, he's going to realize that it's, he needs to lose weight. Maybe that'll work for him. I, I'm hoping it does. And it would be a nice little get-together for the three of us so that we can uh, we can do something together. But, but anyway, I'm really glad that I've made this decision for my 74th year. I really do think it's going to make a difference. Um, my weight, I'm glad that I did go because uh, I've gained since the first of the month. I didn't think I did, but I did. And... Uh, it's, um, so starting next Thursday, 
I will share how much weight I've lost. I'm not going to share my actual weight. Well, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I haven't decided on that part yet. But I'm definitely going to share my weight every week as far as how I did. And I really, truly do believe that the meetings are going to make the difference for me. Everybody, goodbye, because i got to get over to it. We both got to get over it. Um, I think the meetings are going to make all the difference in the world. And I'm glad that I... I'm glad that Bertie joined because I don't think I would have done it without Bertie's. And it's always better to go with somebody. It keeps you more accountable. So, um, yeah. And it was a good group. The only thing I didn't like about this particular meeting on Tuesdays was everybody looks like they're at goal already. <laughs> it's like I didn't see any heavy people other than if I had a beer. I mean, it was just, I mean, I'm not saying they're all at goal, but they were all pretty thin. Pretty thin. So I'm thinking that, that that could be me. That will be me. So that's that's my plan. I'm glad I did it. Um, now I have to think out what I'm going to do next week because I told you I'm going to do something every week that's going to change my life. As a reminder, last week I hired a cleaner to clean my house. That's definitely going to change my life. And this week I've joined Weight Watchers. Again, the meetings. I've always been a Weight Watcher, but I mean the meetings to hold myself more accountable. And um, I'm really happy with my decision. Okay. We're almost at the doctor's office. I am really early. I'm like half an hour early. So I'm just going to read my book in the car until it's time for me to go in. And then um, I never know where I'm going to turn. It's so confusing in here. Okay, i got to turn up here. It's very confusing on where i got to go. Now I, now, I, now I know where I'm going. Am I going here? Yeah. This is where we're going. This is where we're going. Attention, Sandy. I think I chose poorly, but no, I didn't. I chose the right way. Okay, we're gonna go right here because I gotta turn over here. So, anyway, are you done? Are you done hearing me talk to myself? Because I am. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Well, I actually got good results. That just shows you you shouldn't read your own chart. Uh, he he wasn't concerned about the number increasing so much. He said that's a hormone and it just affects like your blood the way it was that day or whatever. Um, the normal range, he said, for me should be less than 120, so at 107, I'm fine. So that was good. He said, my kidney function is good, so that was good. Uh, my calcium level was at a good level, so that was good. My one side of my parathyroid shrunk, which was very good, and the other one stayed the same, which he said, that was good. So all in all, he said, I did, I'm doing really well. <laughs> and then I told you I was worried about him, that I thought maybe he shouldn't have been the one. He's got all these plaques on the wall that I never noticed before. <laughs> that he's been the endocrinologist. You know that big word that I don't know how to say. Anyway, he's been um, the the main doctor in this area for 2020, 2021, 2022. And he's just named the 2023 doctor of the year. <laughs> so I, I think that that should give me a little bit... Uh, of more assurance that I'm, I've chosen the right way. I read a little bit more of my book. I think I can finish it today. And then um, we're going to go now to Christy's house to drop her laundry off. And then I'm going to head home and have a healthy, healthy breakfast. So back on track with everything. So that was good news. Good news. Not good news at the day. It was good news that I joined Weight Watchers, but not good news what the scale said. But good news that um, my... Uh, Numbers are still looking pretty good here. He didn't change anything. He told me to keep taking my vitamin D like I'm taking. He told me not to take calcium supplements, but to just to get the calcium from my foods, which I always like doing that anyhow. So, anyway. Okay, we're going to leave now to go to Christy's house. Talk to you soon. my grand doggies. Go, oh, I got to run to my mommy. I got to run to my mommy. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. She says, where? 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 Where is she? Where is she? So where is she? Oh, they're so excited. So excited. So excited. They don't need no stinking stairs anymore, eh? Well, they're right here, but oh. sometimes they use them, sometimes they don't. It just depends. Come here, let me clean your eye. It just depends on their mood. Well, obviously I had a squirrel moment. 
while we were driving because I started to tell you about the basement from the heavy torrential rains that we had last night. And then I was just so fascinated, but the exit or the entrance ramp to the expressway was finally open. It's been almost two months since it's been open. But anyway, we had a torrential downpour last night. It was coming down to beat the bandwagon. Let me tell you, it was coming down so hard, and I kept thinking, oh, please don't have a problem down the basement. And Jim got up at least three times during the night to go down there to check to see to make sure it wasn't leaking, and it was not leaking. So $2,775 well spent, <laughs> I guess, because um, it was really coming down. Let me tell you, it was, everything was soaked. It was... I mean, you know, outside there was puddles and everything when I got up this morning. So it was good feeling to know that the basement finally, finally seems to be taken care of. And I'm going to talk to my insurance agent today. They're supposedly we're going to have a settlement agreement. I'll let you know tomorrow how that goes. And people are coming by tonight to drop off the drywall for to start the basement. They're going to start that tomorrow. And... That's about it, I guess. Gonna watch my tag videos today. I already gonna watch some of those. I started watching some of those, but now I'm gonna finish watching those. And I guess that's it for tonight. So let me show you what I had to eat. I'm not gonna show you every single day what I had to eat, but I will show you today what I had to eat. Um, my dinner or more is like a breakfast than a dinner, but. It was just something that I wanted. I want to get back on track. I didn't eat all of my points today, but that's what I need to do for the first couple of days. Well, speaking of the devil, they're here to drop off my drywall. They're going to start tomorrow, and they seem to think they'll have all the drywall up and mudded and everything by the weekend. And then they're going to paint, and then they're going to start laying my floor. So it looks like it'll be done in time for Jimmy and Danny, or Jimmy and Dave, no, Jimmy and Jim's. <laughs> both of their birthdays. So um, I don't know that most people might not think that rejoining Weight Watchers is a life-changing <laughs> thing for me, but it's definitely going to it's gonna change it. And I cannot tell you how happy I was to be, rem to be remembered because that's a lot of people that come in and out those doors. And it's been three years. March of 2020 was the last time that I attended a meeting. It was um, March 12th was the last meeting because they closed everything down the 11th. No, I take that back. It was March 7th. What, 7 from 12? March 5th because Christie's birthday, March 11th, everybody was shut down, <laughs> banned to your house. You are not allowed to go out. You are not allowed to pass go. You are not allowed to collect $200. So uh, anyway, that was the last time I went, March 5th of 2020. And both the... Leader and one of the people that weigh you, I forget what they're called, whatever, both remembered me and they went, Sandy, you're back. It just, I was, it just made me feel so good to know that I was remembered. Everybody wants to be remembered for something good. <laughs> we've all known those people that we've remembered that eh, we, it's not a good memory that we have of them, but um, it, it was really like one of my best birthday gifts this month, too. So I'm taking care of myself and being remembered. What can, who can ask for more than that? So anyway, now I'm going to tell you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Here's the food that I had to eat today. Um, like I said, I'm not going to show you every single day, but I have to get back on track. So I might be eating a little bit under my points just to get my body used to uh, not craving everything that I've been craving because uh, that's not good either. It's just not good. I, I just know how my body works, and I just know that I need a couple days to feel hunger again. Because I really haven't been feeling hunger as much as I think I'm hungry, if that makes any sense. I, I'm sure it does make sense to people, because I was eating because I thought I was hungry, and so I need to remind myself what true hunger really feels like. So when I get back on track, as far as living up to all my points every day, I will know what true hunger is, and I will know when to eat. Um, right now, for the next couple of days, I have to remind myself and remember what true hunger is because I have not had true hunger in that sense in a long time. And I want to have that feeling again at least for a couple of days so I can get back on track using my points wisely because the way to lose weight is to eat. I know that. But the way for me to lose weight again 
is to be hungry for a couple days so that I can remember how good good food tastes. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, here's what I had to eat today. Okay, for lunch I'm gonna have some tuna on some Aunt Millie's bread, two points for the toast, zero for the lettuce, for the celery and the tuna. So three points for the Miracle Whip, zero for the eggs and all that. I have an iced tea and I asked them to put some mango dragon fruit in it. So I have to figure out how much, I, don't, I think I'm gonna count it as a zero because it's a iced tea with just the mangoes in it. We'll see. And a banana for dessert. So it is a five point lunch. Okay, watching my tag videos today, I'm gonna have a little snack of some popcorn that I made the other day. There's nothing on it, just a little bit of salt, not very much. And 32 ounces of water. I was lucky enough that one of And Roy, your grandson is just too darn cute. This is your opponent. I know this looks more like my breakfast than my dinner, but I don't didn't take I was gonna have some chicken and I forgot to take it out of the freezer so anyway I'm gonna have a bagel for four points with three points for a tablespoon of peanut butter for seven and a half of a avocado for three so it's a ten point dinner because everything else on my plate is zero my tea and another 32 ounces of water